Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Christine Ford's lawyers just admitted that she lied under oath. Huge. The Supreme Court nomination process is over. Justice Kavanaugh is on the Supreme Court. However, that was not without a lot of controversy and sexual assault allegations. Lawyers for Dr. Christine Blasey Ford have now released statements regarding the confirmation of Justice Kavanaugh. Some of those comments though contradict Dr. Ford's initial statements. Which means they are admitting she might have lied. Red State Watcher reported. Now that Judge Kavanaugh has been confirmed, it appears that Christine Ford's lawyers are admitting she never had any fear of flying. As reported by CAGFeed.com, as Ford's lawyers find themselves in hot water, due to a discovery that they did not advise their client that Senate investigators were willing to come to her to take her testimony, they're spinning the story to avoid retribution from the Senate and American Bar Association. Now, the lawyers are saying that Ford's so-called fear of flying was not the reason she wanted to postpone the hearing, even though it was widely reported in the news, and also discussed during the actual hearing with Dr. Ford under oath. Daily Wire In their statement regarding lies being spread about Christine Blasey Ford's testimony, her attorney said they never told the Senate Judiciary Committee that she could not travel to Washington, D.C., due to a fear of flying. Ford was asked to provide testimony to the committee about her allegations against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, whom she claimed sexually assaulted her 36 years ago. Prior to her attending the public hearing on September 27, it was revealed that Ford had a fear of flying and it was suggested that she would have to drive to the hearing because of it. Let's explore in detail. On September 21, Politico published an article about Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley, Arya, giving Ford and her attorneys more time to decide when, where, and how to testify for the committee. Buried in the article was the following. The GOP has been told that Ford does not want to fly from her California home to Washington, according to the Republican senator, which means she may need to drive across the country. Ford has reportedly told friends she is uncomfortable in confined spaces, indicating a physical difficulty in making the trip by plane. Politico reporter Burgess Everett tweeted the following when promoting the article. On September 23, CNN interviewed friends of Ford who claimed she had a fear of enclosed spaces that didn't have multiple exits, such as a plane. These friends were allowed to claim, without evidence, that this was due to Ford's alleged encounter with Kavanaugh 36 years earlier. Kate Devarney, one of Kavanaugh's friends, told the outlet that Ford really has a hard time being in a place where there's no escape route. She added that Ford did not like to fly because an airplane was the ultimate closed space where you cannot get away. On September 27, Ford was asked about her fear of flying by sex crimes prosecutor Rachel Mitchell. Ford said she came to Washington, D.C., to testify by taking a plane. The followed exchange occurred. Mitchell, OK. It's, I ask that, because it's been reported by the press that you would not submit to an interview with the committee because of your fear of flying. Is, is that true? Ford, well, I was willing, I was hoping that they would come to me, but then I realized that was an unrealistic request. Mitchell, it would have been a quicker trip for me. Ford, yes. So that was certainly what I was hoping, was to avoid having to get on an airplane, but I eventually was able to get up the gumption with the help of some friends, and get on the plane. Mitchell then asked a series of questions establishing that Ford flew quite often for work and vacation, including to the Mid-Atlantic area, Hawaii, Costa Rica, South Pacific Islands, and French Polynesia. Ford said she had flown to all those locations, but insisted it was easier for me to travel going that direction when it's a vacation. Hmm. Sounds pretty fishy. What are your thoughts? Please share and comment with your opinions. Dr. Ford testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee regarding her allegations that Justice Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her. Both Republicans and Democrats on the committee asked questions, as did a female sex crimes prosecutor who was chosen by Senator Chuck Grassley who is chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee. While at the committee hearing, Dr. Ford had her attorneys present with her. After the hearing, the committee voted on whether to proceed with the nomination and allow the full Senate to vote. This was approved despite the non-votes of two senators, Senator Cory Booker and Senator Kamala Harris. When the vote came to the floor for cloture, it passed. When the final vote came to the Senate floor, it passed as well. Shortly after the confirmation took place President Trump signed Justice Kavanaugh's appointment and swore him in. Despite the allegations and alleged lies by Dr. Ford and the other accusers, Justice Kavanaugh is now on the Supreme Court of the United States. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like.
and subscribe. Thank you.